Elevator Pitch, the show that challenges startups to make it to the top, literally. I'm John Cook from GeekWire, and today we're at Seattle Space Needle, where we'll be hearing from an entrepreneur who will pitch their business plan in the 43 seconds it takes to make it to the top. If we like the pitch, they're gonna stick around. If not, we're sending them back down to the ground to work on that business plan some more. I'll be joined by GeekWire's Rebecca Lovell and Seattle Angel investor Andy Sack. So hop on board and let's listen to that elevator pitch. Hey guys, I'm Tom Arnold. I'm the founder of PetHub.com and we're focused on getting lost pets home faster and safer than ever before. And we do that with smartphones and scannable ID tags. So what happens is when somebody scans this tag, it brings up the free profile on PetHub and it shows medications, dietary needs, emergency contact info and more. We even pull the GPS data off the phone and email a map to the owner and we have an Amber Alert-like system to notify shelters that your pet's gone missing. It's a $54 billion industry with 62% of us owning pets in the US. Uh, we've sold 10,000 tags alone in the last month. We're just now getting traction. We make money using a freemium model uh, and we also license these tags to existing pet tag manufacturers. We're about to start our Series A financing. Would love your feedback. So Tom, that was a fantastic pitch. We loved it. It was a great, great delivery. Um, big market, love that you talked about the addressable market. Pets, obviously, everyone wants to help their pets out and recover them. Uh, so for me, it's, it's a definite staying on the top floor, hanging out, enjoying the view, going to the next round. So I'm a, I'm a big uh, thumbs up on this one. I enjoyed it too, and you're talking directly to your target market, having briefly lost my own pet and was incredibly distraught. So you do a nice job of both pulling on the heartstrings and showing there's a real monetizable opportunity out there. That said, the question that I have is kind of around implementation. Uh, there already are embeddable chips that a lot of pet owners use. The nice thing about that is that you don't lose them when you lose your pet. So I would want to know just a little bit more about uh, how durable are these? Are you concerned that they're going to get lost when your pet gets lost? And John actually made a point in our, our own elevator chat, not everybody might know what to do with the QR code once they see it. If we're asking detailed questions of that nature, you've hooked us. So great job. So you, he stays on the top floor. I, I like yeah, it. I, you get a, Andy, you get a you thumbs think? up for so, me. Let's, let's what see what Andy has so to say. So this is one of those rare instances in which I agree with my, my co-judges. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't understand the, the pet market. I don't have pets. We have a no pets allowed policy in my home. That said, I directionally like your business in that I know that lots of people have pets, lots of people lose their pets, and lots of people will pay a lot of money to get them back. I, I can't believe I agree with Rebecca also. I worry about the, the QR code. I don't think that many people know, like, I think, you could, I think you could sell and package it better, but as an elevator pitch, you stay on the top floor. Thank you. Great job. Absolutely. Thanks Three so votes for the top floor, so stick right. around. Enjoy, and enjoy the, the view. view. Yeah. We're we'll making it to the next round. Thank Congrats. you so much. So I've definitely had to do my share of elevator pitches. I've never done one in an actual elevator. It's frustrating because in 43 seconds, you don't, you can't say as much as you want to say. No, absolutely helpful. Um, they loved it, so that was great to hear. Watching the scenery through, <laughs> through the window as the elevator's going up, it's really distracting. When you're blathering away at your, your elevator pitch, you start thinking, as you feel the elevator slowing down, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. Have I said everything I need to say?